There's a concept in swing called look and feel. This is how things look and how they behave, how components look and behave. And we have a number of different look and feels that we can use. And if we wanted to list the look and feels, we can do that. So let's have a look. I change my main method for now. Instead of creating the frame, I'm going to list the look and feels that we've got installed on our system. So I do that with UI Manager. Get look and feels give us a list of look and feel info objects. So for look So for each one of those objects I'm gonna print get class name. That returns the name of the class that implements the look and feel. So we can ins install additional look and feels, but these are the ones that are installed now. Here we have metal look and feel, nimbus look and feel, motif windows and windows classic. Now what we can do is UI manager set look and feel and we can give it the class name. So I'm going to choose Nimbus look and feel. I'm going to put that class name in there. Now, because look and feels may or may not be installed, there's a number of exceptions that we need to deal with. So I'll just automatically generate the try catch for that. So I'm going to try and set my look and feel to Nimbus and then we'll create our frame that we were using before. And there we can see that that looks quite different to the way it did before. So if I just move that over there and then I comment out this look and feel section and run again. We can see that the look and feel is quite different. And if I just try another one, I'll try motif look and feel. And then we have another. So we can see that they look different. Now another way we can select the look and feel is with the command line. So if I just go into run configurations for this and in arguments, we say in VM arguments, if I say hyphen D swing default look and feel, I can specify a look and feel I want in here. So for example, here I'm using the windows look and feel and we can see that the look and feel is looks like that. If I run again, I can select a different look and feel. by replacing that in the command line. And there I have the different look and feel selected from the command line. So that's how to set the look and feel in Java Swing.